So uh, maybe tell us what you have on the site so far. I mean, what is it? Just uh, information about the the business itself? Yeah, that's okay. pretty much all that's on there. Um, she has some recommended books and whatnot on there. Okay, what's your goal to site? To get them to call or to get them to fill out a form? What's the the focus of the site? Um, to get them to come in and use her services. Okay. So I'd say the first step before we can start to traffic generation again is coming back to the offer, creating a really solid offer on the site. You know, whether it be coming for a free consultation or coming for a free book, you know, whatever it is, but some kind of solid offer. And then from there, you step back and you look at how do we drive traffic. The video method we talked about earlier works very, very well. Um, you know, obviously there's there's things like Google Pay Per Click that works very well at a local level. Um, there's also joint ventures. I'd find other people that have sites that that target a similar audience and do promote cross promotions with them, either you know trading banners, having them promote it to their customer list, um, things like that are some of the easiest ways to get traffic really quick. Okay. So and you know I think that Russell mentioned something. She likes she recommends a couple books, and so you know I mean there might be other counselors out there that are offering a free cons- initial consult. I'm not sure, but um, if you can add the, the free consult and a free book. Um, it might cost a little bit more on the upfront, you know, cost of that customer, but uh, your chances are driving, you know, more people to you um, to, to get more opportunities, you know, for new clients. All right, might be one idea. So, anything else, Russell, for him? Um, there's a lot of ways to drive traffic. I would say pick one or two that work. I've and that to, local, that local yeah. thing you mentioned earlier with Google, the local business. Yeah, um, listing on Google. Go, local. go, sign up there. You can go free. If you don't have a Google account, go do that, and there's a little local business center. You put your information in there, and then especially if you, as you mentioned, add some videos um, and uh, you, you know maybe get some testimonials on there, and you'll you'll be right at the top, maybe. Yeah. One other thing that's kind of you know kind of cliche, but Craigslist actually works amazingly well as well to drive traffic, especially at a local level, which doesn't cost any money. Yeah. So try that as well. We're going to jump to a quick commercial break. Our phone number, 336-3700. We'll be right back. Bringing you the advice you need to prevail in today's economy. This is the Recession Smackdown with Mike Turner on News Talk 670 KBOI. Okay, we're back. This is the Recession Smackdown. We're talking internet businesses, and I got a guru here, Russell Brunson. He's a... Um, been doing this uh, type of internet business for the last, you know, what was it, seven, eight years, something five like that? Five, five or six years, but killing it, right? Doing really well, so much so that he's got um, a, a huge company here that he runs here locally, a bunch of employees, um, goes all around talking you know, to businesses all around the U.S. and world. Um, and we got him here in the studio. We got uh, just a few minutes left with them. So, um, we're going to go to uh, another caller here real quick, uh, Max in Boise. What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Russell, uh, I'm working up a business plan for uh, a small service business, you know, and uh, what would you just as a ballpark put in there for the average cost for acquiring a customer? What type of service business are you? Uh, tourist business. Um, the cost to acquire a customer changes so much um, industry by industry, it's hard to say. The one thing I would say that most people, when they're building a business, they, they mess up on, I believe, is they always try to be like the low price leader. And as soon as you become the low price leader, it makes it harder to have money to acquire a customer. Um, what I'd recommend is when you're designing it, try to become the premium option, the most expensive choice. When you do that, it gives you a lot more money, a lot more uh, room in there to acquire a customer. And um, and you also get better type customers normally. Well, a ballpark, $100. $10, well, well it, kind of, it might it might depend, Max, on what how much you make. You know, your potential client sell might be, or whatever your service you're offering. Because, um, you know, if you can figure out what's the lifetime value of them, then you know how much you you need to maybe devote to them. And are you selling like what, what's the price point of the first thing you're selling them? It's a, a river trip for twenty seven dollars. Oh, twenty seven bucks. Um, and it's, it's all local, local based. Pretty much, yeah. I would say, again, I, I don't. I would. Could, it's tough to guess the ballpark how you see the numbers and that kind of stuff. But I would say there's a lot of stuff you can do locally for free to drive traffic. So all, all it's going to cost is someone's time. Um, but then as far as paying, like doing pay per click and stuff like that, because you're go, you're focusing on local terms and things like that, you can get clicks for really cheap, usually between five and you know maybe ten or fifteen cents because you you are far, focusing on local terms. Um, and so, and again, it depends what your your site converts at and things like that. But if you're if your goal is twenty-seven bucks. You know, obviously the 
the plan is to hopefully acquire it for at least twenty six dollars and fifty nine or you know ninety nine cents. <laughs> That's always the goal to try to, to at least break even. Um, and then it depends how you build your business. If you have more things ready for them to sign up for afterwards, then that's where you can make your profit. What's the minimum price for set up a website? Say if we're starting from scratch. Uh, 1, 000, you can 5, do it. 000. You can do it. You can actually do it for like uh, fifteen bucks on like GoDaddy dot com. I've done I've done that for three or four websites. Um, but that yeah, that's just to register it. But then you have to no, create it. No, right? that, well, they have a service that you get. You can get a free website from them um, when you get your domain. So I've done that, and so you can you can do the bare bones if you want to just get started. But you might actually have to, you know, uh, a company that's going to charge you probably depends on uh, how much you want on there. What well, would you say? I say the, the biggest recommendation I can give is what we normally do is. Um, you know, hiring people in in the states is really expensive. When I got started, I had no money to hire anybody. I was a broke college kid, and so what I did. There's a site called odesk. dot com, just o d e s k. dot com, and what this is is a freelancing site. So I'd go and I'd post my my project, my, my website, or the software I want to develop, or whatever it is. And what happened is then people from all around the world, from Romania, from India, from all all over, will come and they'll bid on your project. Some guy will say, "I'll do it for." Fifteen hundred dollars, and the next day I'll do it for a thousand. I'll do it for three hundred, and you get people bidding against each other, and then you can pick the one that that kind of fits your needs the best, and you can get work done uh, really, really exp- inexpensively. That's what I'd probably recommend doing. What, what was that again? Odesk. Yep, odesk. dot com. Those work halfway decent because you know a lot of those are, are um, work because uh, they were. When you do a job, they want to get your review and, and they want to get a high review so I mean, their customer review looks high so they'll get more picks later. And so a lot of them will work really hard, uh, harder than you expect for what they're, you know, you're, you're paying them to uh, do a good job for you. Yeah. So that's not a bad idea. Yeah, a lot of times we'll pay some, we have a whole team in Romania and we'll pay them usually two or three bucks an hour and they're the richest kids in Romania right now. <laughs> so. Yeah, so, you know, for a startup, not a bad idea. If you have, a, you know, a website that is already pre existing and you're just struggling to get, you know, the traffic or get things going, you might want to then find, you know, a local expert that could, that could help you, you know, refine that closer. But just as a startup to get things trying, yeah, there's some inexpensive options, especially if you have a low price point um, um, that you're working with. Definitely. Well, thanks for calling in. Okay, well, Russell, we've got a few more minutes with you. Um, I just want to recap some of the gems that you've shared for people that haven't been here the whole hour. And that is um, Russell has you know told us about um, how – you want to use that irresistible offer on your websites and other things to, you know, to get, if you get someone there to your site, you need that irresistible offer to get them to take action. And, um, or, you know, that'll spread virally because people will say, oh, yeah, I got this, you know, a free uh, lawn care service and, and this is who I use. And, and you get to try them out for free and whatever it is. Um, and you also mentioned that local. Uh, since we're you know dealing with a lot of local business owners here, that that Google has that local business um, area where you can just for free go sign up your business, uh, put your information in there, and you said and somebody here local that you know was doing that, and they're getting all their um, all their uh, traffic from there, all their customers from there, and guess what? It's not costing anything. You also mentioned you know Craigslist works good. Um, again, um, you don't have to spend a lot of money on marketing to drive traffic. And Russell shared with us that even with local owners here, that you can actually do this much less inexpensively than some other options. And and so, you know, Russell, um, you mentioned too before. I want to make sure before we run out of time is you're also doing a, a workshop, for, you know, for local business owners who you know want to um, learn more and, and hear more about you know some of the strategies you have. It's going on um, this coming Friday um, at your office. Um, it's about lunchtime, about hour, hour and a half, you know, workshop. Um, if you want to get in on that, um, you gave us a, an email uh, address earlier. That was a DCSlocal at gmail.com. Is that right? Yep. Basically what, I mean, the tough thing for me, I get a lot of clients who come to us after they've hired SEO companies and web design companies and they, they show me their site and it's bad and they show me their traffic strategy and it's bad. And so what we want to do is just locally kind of give back to here, people in Boise, um, next Friday, we're doing a little workshop. You come to our office, and uh, like I said, it's, it's going to be during lunchtime and probably just a couple hours. I'm going to go through and just show you um, the right things to do on a website, the wrong things people are doing, and make sure that everyone's kind of educated so they can uh, make sure your website's uh, doing it the right way. Wow. Okay. that's this. If you have questions there, just go to dcslocal at gmail.com, and someone, you know, Russell or someone from his team will help you out. Russell, 
thanks for coming in, man. Yeah, thank you. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys got something from it. Again, we do this every Saturday. It's Recession Smackdown. Hope you have a great weekend, and we'll see you back next week.